Add a labor to a repair order, labor service from list. There are many ways to add a labor service to a repair order, but I would say the most often used method is to add a labor from the labor service list. Let's take a look. Now remember, a reason for service line must be highlighted on the repair order to activate the add a labor function. If we were highlighting another labor or a part, the feature will be grayed out. We can click the Add Labors button or right click on the Reason for Service line, click Add, and select Labor Service from List. And this opens the Labor Search window. We can use the arrow keys to scan the list, use the vertical scroll bar, or we can enter a search. Just start to key in the labor code, TR for Transmission Inspection, and the list will narrow down. We can search by labor code or short description by selecting the radio buttons. And changing the radio button clears out our search. The printed description for the highlighted labor will appear below. And if the labor service you're looking for is not on the list, click the Add Labor Service button to start the Add a Labor Wizard. And these Edit and Delete buttons here are for editing the master record of any of these labor services on the list. If needed, edit the master record before adding the labor service to the RO because changes made to that labor service master record will not affect a labor service already on a repair order. And remember, when you delete a labor service, it's gone forever. Now, to add this labor to the RO, highlight the labor and click the Select button down here, or just double click on the labor. So here's this labor service's Sales Detail Information screen. Changes made here to the labor service apply only to this RO. And we can add more to the labor description. Let's add a note. Vehicle was in a front end collision. And since this is an inspection, this is where you enter your technician's findings. Technician is assigned, or we could click select and change it. Here is where we would enter an add-on charge for hazardous materials, or I have an add-on charge for technical services already tied to this labor service. So I charge $10 per inspection hour, totaling $40, to reference online technical support information from Identifix. We can discount this labor service 10% by entering in a discount percentage here, or we could just enter a final amount we want to charge the customer, let's say $300. And both ways, a discount will be reflected on the invoice from our original amount. If you want to change the price and not show a discount, just change the price here. And if it were a warranty discount, we would check this box and enter it here because the system tracks warranty costs separately on our financials. This checkbox is linking our flat rate hours and our billed hours together automatically. If we wanted to pay our technicians more or charge the customer more, just uncheck the box and make your changes. Note, you need to increase the flat rate hours here to change the amounts up here assigned to the technician. The reason we have the option to enter hours up here is only to be able to split the time between two techs. And let's click OK. So let's say we checked out that car and it just needed a transmission service we could add another request for service line for that transmission service, or we can have multiple labor services attached to a single reason for service. It's a personal preference. But if we were to add an oil change, we probably would select another reason for service, one that says requests oil and filter. So let's do that. And let's click the Add Labors button again. Select OC. And notice this is a menu labor. The sales detail information screen looks a little different. Here we have a part placeholder attached to this menu service that makes up the $29.95 price. We can select to use it or not. It won't affect our menu price. See? The labor dollar amount would just change to make up the difference to get to that $29.95 menu price. And if we want to change the flat rate hours assigned to the technician for this job, we can. Still won't affect the menu price. That's the whole idea behind menu pricing. It always stays the same as listed on your menu. See the training video for Add a New Labor for details on this menu labor pricing.
Let's review a couple of features on the labor service for this RO. Double click on the labor, and in the printed description, we can add what we found from the transmission inspection, and there is a spell check. We can change which technician actually did this labor service, and if we use the job clock feature, and the technician forgot to clock out of this job, we can mark this job as complete to be able to close out the invoice if needed. If your technician clocked out correctly, this box would be checked automatically when he was done from the job clock area. And again, flat rate and build hours are only edited here if you're splitting the time between two techs. Otherwise, these flat rate hours are edited below. And our profitability monitor down here shows us that we are on target. It's green, calculated on our average labor cost and hourly rate. Let's click OK. And this concludes the lesson on Add a Labor to a Repair Order, Labor Service from List.